everybody, it's Bruce here, back with another Python video tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at a Python library called Inflect. And you can see it on the screen here. And this is um, the, the page and the documentation uh, for it on the Pi, Pi site. And I'll show the URL in a second. All right. So this is the page that's going to contain all the documentation you need to use this particular library. And in fact, right here is the URL. OK, right, right here. OK, and what you need to do in order to install this library is um, issue the pip install inflect command within your terminal. So I'm using VS Code as a code space uh, from GitHub. And I'm going to go to my terminal. And I'm going to type in pip install inflect. All right. And you'll see down here that the library is installing. And it's done. If you're getting some type of error when you do that, um, make sure you typed in everything right. Uh, if you're installing this on a Mac or Windows, you may have to vary the, um, the, the pip command. Uh, I know on my Mac, I usually have to type something. And let me just do it here. It won't work, but like something like pip 3.10 install. Uh, inflect. All right. And same thing on Windows. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the inflect library by showing you some examples. All right. So I have three examples that I'm going to show you today. And the first example is just going to show you how to create the plural of a word. All right. So on line one, I'm importing the inflect library. That's what you need to do with libraries. You may or may not know that. So you import the library. And then on line three here, I'm issuing, um, I'm issuing the inflect libraries engine method. And I'm assigning that to a variable p. All right. So this is going to be our uh, a quote unquote object that's going to represent the inflect engine within our code. All right. So on line seven, I'm going to uncomment these two lines is I'm going to have the person at the terminal enter a word and then I'm going to print out using an F string here the plural of that word. So I'm going to print out the word and then the plural version of that word. So I'm going to go to the terminal. I'm going to type Python, Python demo dash one dot pi, and I'll enter a word cat. All right. And you can see the plural of cat is cats. So I'm going to hit the up arrow. I'm going to run that again. And I will say bus, right? A bus. And the plural of bus is buses. All right. So you can begin to see here what the inflect library is capable of doing for you. All right. So I'm going to clear my terminal and then I'm going to comment these two lines out. There we go. And then I'm going to show you on this next little demo in this first uh, set of code is check this out. How many cats were there? And I'm going to enter in a number and then it's going to print out. I saw the number of cats and then the plural. So let me just show you what this is, is going to do. All right. So check this out. Let me run this code and I'll say one. And it says, I saw one cat. Get it? One cat. I'll run it again. I'll hit 42 and it's going to say, I saw 42 cats. So it's able to uh, make the word, right, cat plural, right? To, and so the way this works is we're taking the inflect library object, we're calling the plural method, and we're passing to it the string cat, and then we're telling it how many, and then it's able to either write cat or cats. So as a programmer, I can't tell you how many times, you know, I would try to, to write things to do the same. Or 
I just like put like in parentheses the plural version of a word. No need to do that any anymore once you have the inflect library in your Python toolbox. All right. Let's move on to demo two. Let me clear my terminal. And uh, by the way, how, how y'all doing out there? Um, I see the the likes and the comments and the views, and I really appreciate it. So uh, when you can, smash that like button and uh, smash that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to the next one. Convert a number to words. Convert a number to words. So again, we're importing the inflect library. We're creating uh, the inflect object here. We're invoking, you know, the engine method. We're assigning it to this variable p, and then we're going to get an integer. We're going to say enter a number, and we're going to store that number in the variable number, and then we're going to use the number to words method of the inflect library and pass in the number that was entered by the human, right? So let's go to the terminal, python demo dash two dot pi, and now it wants me to enter a number. I'll enter 42, and notice what it does here. It is uh, printing out 40 dash two. So let's run this again, and we'll say zero, and we get zero. Uh, let us enter um, 1,122. Look at that, 1,122 with commas, all right? So just so you know, too, right, I could write here, I could, uh, what can I do here? If I put the capitalize, capi capitalize string method on the end there, let's just see what happens. I'll do 1122 again, and look what it did. It made the first letter of the a sentence, right, capitalized. So uh, you may see this uh, in your Python work, all right? So how about that, right? Pretty cool library, right? Pretty cool library, and there are lots, right? There are lots. Uh, there are a crap ton uh, in official uh, terms of Python libraries, okay? And by the way, the inflect library, can do a lot more than I'm showing you, but I'm just showing uh, showing you some things that uh, that uh, I've learned to start using in my work. All right, so check this one out. Uh, join words into a list. Right? Let's say you have. Um, and by the way, you know what lines four and six do, right? They import the library, and you start the inflect um, engine, uh, and you assign it to a variable there, right? Cool, right? So on line eight, we have a list, and I have a list of my friends, Gail, Tucker, Carter, Heidi, Brandon, and Aaron, right? And notice here that I'm saying, hey, uh, inflect object P, call your join method and join together my friends, right? So what do you think this is going to do? This is, by the way, it, it's going to do this right here, what you see on line two. It's going to print out, right? Check this out. I'm in the turn. Whoops. Whoops. Where am I? Whoop. Python, right? Demo dash three dot pi. And uh, look at that. It printed out Gail, comma, Tucker, comma, Carter, comma, Heidi, comma, Brandon, and, well, comma, and Aaron. Right, and if I go and add like another friend at the end, right, I'll put in Trey, right, like that, and I'll run this again. How about that? Now, maybe you can't appreciate this as a beginner, but sometimes you're gonna need to display information, right? Uh, it could be for a terminal-based application like I'm running here. It could be a web application in Django. It could be a, a lot of different things. But sometimes you'll need to put together, like, a, 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 I'm not going to say a human readable list, but a nicely formatted uh, string of text that's going to automatically insert, right, that and, you know, towards the end like that. Because think about what you would have to code to, like, replicate something like that. You'd have to know that you're at the last um, or next to last entry in the list, element in the list, and then put an and, and and do all sorts of stuff. But the inflect library here is your Python friend, as well as myself, and then this YouTube channel. So that's it for these three demos of the inflect library. 
And again, you can find the Inflect library right here at https colon slash slash pypi dot org slash project slash inflect. And you're going to be taken to this page right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.